So today we're going to show you how to install Pi-hole ad blocking software as fast as possible and we're not going to use Docker. And a special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life and I'm Jeff and here what we do is we try to make technology simplified. And so today what we're going to do is install Pi-hole, which is an image blocking software. But we're not going to do it in Docker. And so normally I do everything in Docker, but Pi-hole in Docker is just a hot mess. Uh, it is possible, but there's a much easier way to do it. And that way is the Raspberry Pi. And so if you're like me, you have several of these lying around doing nothing. And so we're going to do this as quick as possible. And we'll see if we can get it done. We'll see if we can get this done in under two minutes your time. Uh, when you actually do this, it will take a few minutes to download. So here we go. So first thing you need to do is go to raspberrypi.org downloads and download the Raspberry Pi imager. Then go to pihole.net and we are then going to use these directions to install our Pi-hole as quickly as possible. So open Raspberry Pi Imager. Make sure you have an SD card or micro SD card. Put that in your computer. Once that's connected, push Choose OS. We want other Raspberry Pi and 32 lights. And then choose our card. And then press, press right. And it's time for a cup of coffee. Once that's done, kick, click Continue. And then what you need to do is pull out your SD card and put it right back in. Go to your boot, uh, which should be D, scroll down, right click, press new, and then text, and then just put this SSH. And then you can eject that. So what we've just done is made it so it's SSH uh, accessible, which we need because we put in the light version of Raspbian. Next, put your card in your Pi, and then plug it in and make sure it has it's connected to your network. And then that will take a minute to boot up. In the meantime, you can open up PuTTY, and you can find that to download at putty.org if you don't have it already. And so PuTTY will make it so we can PuTTY will make it so we can SSH into our Raspberry Pi. If we go to our router, we can see our Pi address is 192.168.8.183. So type that in where it says host name, then click open, click yes, and then type in pi, and the password is raspberry. Of course, you have to spell it correctly. So now we're into our Raspberry Pi, and so we're going to click on install pi hole. We're going to copy this curl command, paste that into our putty window, hit enter, and now it's going to start installing, and this will take a few minutes. And so next, we're going to have to answer some questions. We can hit OK. And pretty much, we can just hit OK for every single one. Here, you can change your DNS provider. This is for lists. Click OK. Blocking ads on IVV4 and IV, IPv6. And yes. And OK. And on. And OK. And OK. And show everything. Okay, on this page, what we can do is actually don't close this window. There's a password here we need. Now we're going to log into our Raspberry Pi at that address. So this does not take us to the web admin panel. For that, we need to do slash admin, or we can just click on this blue bar here and it will take us there. So now we're logged into our Raspberry Pi. Then how do we set this up so it blocks ads? So what we have to do next is go to our router. So go to the section, for me, it's under Internet Settings, Primary DNS Server. And then all we have to do is copy our IP address and paste that in there, except for it doesn't go in because it's only allowed a certain amount. And for contrary to what some guys do, you don't put a secondary DNS because then it can just bypass the pie hole and you'll get all your ads. So don't do that. Then hit disconnect and it will save your settings. 
now you can see it's connected and we have internet access. So let's try it out. So I'm going to turn my ad blocker off. So now it's paused on all sites. So let's go to a site. So let's go to my local news station. And here you can see it looks like there should be ads here. We don't see any ads here. And on some websites, uh, you will get no ads, but some other websites, some ads will still show up. So you might have to use a combination of Pi-hole and then also something in your web browser. So if you're interested in doing Pi-hole in a Docker, I'll leave a link in the description to a post about that. Uh, I have a sort of a file that I made up myself, but the post uh, shows it pretty well how to do everything. So in the description below, if you use Pi-hole, tell us how you use it, either on a Raspberry Pi, a straight install, or you use it in a Docker. Just let us know. I'm interested to see how you use it. I find the Pi-hole in the Raspberry Pi is so much faster than doing it in, in a Docker. And the other thing is that in the Docker, if your server goes down, then your pie hole goes down and everybody else is going to have problems with their internet because the internet will shut down because there's no DNS server anymore. So again, that's another good reason to have pie hole separately. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.